The SEW EuroDrive How-To Series Changing a Seal Changing a Single Seal Warning! All steps shown should occur with the equipment powered down and lockout tagout procedures in place before beginning any work. For details on the reducer components and parts assembly, please refer to the inspection maintenance section of the operating instructions shown in the PDF found in the video description. You will need the following tools for replacing a single seal, a dead blow hammer, a large flat tip screwdriver, a foam tip grease applicator brush, a soft plastic seal driving tool, a lint-free cleaning cloth, a non-solvent-based industrial cleaning agent, and SEW approved grease. It is important to place the flat tip screwdriver against the seal as shown with the tip closest to the gear reducer bore and away from the shaft surface. Strike the screwdriver with the dead blow hammer until the seal starts to fold upward into a V-shape. Repeat on each side until the seal outer edge is exposed. Tap one side of the raised portion of the seal until the seal has popped partially out of the housing. Pry the seal completely out of the housing while taking care not to scratch the shaft surface. Apply the cleaning agent to the cleaning cloth. Clean the bore of the housing. Make sure that the spring is properly seated within the new seal before installing. The grease selected must be compatible with the reducer oil type. Reducer oil type information is shown on the reducer nameplate. A list of compatible grease products is shown in the gear reducer operating instructions. Use a foam tip grease applicator brush and apply a light coating of grease onto the seal between the outer and inner lips. Place the new seal onto the shaft at a slight angle to avoid popping out the spring or flipping the lip. Then rotate the seal slightly to ensure proper fit. Make sure the outer and inner diameters of the soft plastic seal driving tool are less than the housing bore dimension and greater than the shaft dimension to prevent interference and damage to any components. Using the soft plastic seal driving tool, seat the seal with even strikes from the dead blow hammer. Never strike a seal directly with a hammer as this will damage the seal. Check for even installation by running your finger around the seal circumference. The distance from the seal face to the housing face should be even. Changing a double seal. Warning, all steps shown should occur with the equipment powered down and lockout tagout procedures in place before beginning any work. For details on the reducer components and parts assembly, please refer to the inspection maintenance section of the operating instructions shown in the PDF found in the video description. You will need the following tools for replacing a double seal, a dead blow hammer, a slide hammer with a screw tip, a foam tip grease applicator brush, a soft plastic seal driving tool, a lint-free cleaning cloth, a non-solvent-based industrial cleaning agent, and SEW approved grease. A slide hammer with a screw tip is the most efficient way to remove a double seal. 
A simple machine screw with pliers can be used as well. It is important to place the screw against the seal as shown with the tip closest to the gear reducer bore and away from the shaft surface. Strike the screw tip against the seal using the slide hammer until the screw has punctured the seal. At the same time, twist the tool to engage the screw threads. Use the slide hammer in the opposite direction to pull the seal free from the gear housing. Notice the screw tip never penetrated the second metal seal. Be mindful of this so no damage occurs to the components under the seal, such as the bearing. Apply the cleaning agent to the cleaning cloth. Clean the bore of the housing. Make sure that the spring is properly seated within the new seal before installing. Prepare the double seal by placing the two halves together as shown. Make sure the inner metal seal is completely seated into the outer rubber seal. The grease selected must be compatible with the reducer oil type. Reducer oil type information is shown on the reducer nameplate. A list of compatible grease products is shown in the gear reducer operating instructions. Using the foam applicator brush, apply a light coating of grease onto the rubber seal between the outer and inner lips and onto the lip portion of the metal seal. Place the new seal onto the shaft at a slight angle to avoid popping out the spring or flipping the lip. Then rotate the seal slightly to ensure proper fit. Make sure the outer and inner diameters of the soft plastic seal driving tool are less than the housing bore dimensions and greater than the shaft dimension to prevent interference and damage to any components. Using the soft plastic seal driving tool, seat the seal with even strikes from the dead blow hammer. Never strike a seal directly with a hammer as this will damage the seal. Check for even installation by running your finger around the seal circumference. The distance from the seal face to the housing face should be even. For more how-to videos like this one, subscribe to our SEW EuroDrive USA YouTube page. Thanks for watching.